My name is Robert with ToolingInventory.com and this is another Tool Tip Tuesday. So today I want to talk with you about something called trichoidal milling. Trichoidal milling is a way of milling a slot that is going to be a little different than the traditional way of milling a slot and the way I want to demonstrate this is I have a slot in Fusion 360's cam and I'll kind of step through um, how you would normally or how you could do this slot. So you come in full width cut on the on that end mill and let's get a good view here so you're going to go all the way down then you're going to come back climb milling then you're going to continue to go up like this step over step over and um, to go go to that next step you're going to go deeper then you're going to make that same pattern so a couple drawbacks of this approach is you're really only using the bottom um, maybe three quarters or probably the bottom quarter of your end mill and you're actually paying for the whole end mill. So now let's jump over to trichoidal milling and I will show you how this is different. So come up here, we're going to go to simulate and see the same thing. We're going to come down like the previous tool path, but then let's get a, a better closer look on how this is working. But then we're going to go the full depth and we're going to come in and we're going to arc out. And if you can see what we're doing is we're making smaller climb cutting cuts and we're going in this climb radial pattern. And what that's allowing you to do is you're, you, you're paying for that whole tool. As you can see here, you're cutting with the whole tool, not just the bottom quarter of it. So this is going to allow you to really save on a lot of tooling. And uh, a lot of times you get a much better cut. So that is, that's kind of the difference between trichoidal milling and then traditional milling when it comes to milling a slot. And I would say you could get a big savings in your tools if you are switching over from traditional to trichoidal milling. And also, um, even if you have an older machine, this isn't a, a milling pattern just for like the super high speed machines. This works great even if you have a machine that can only do like 80 to 100 inches a minute, you can still uh, turn your feed rate up and smaller chip load and then do this kind of radial, radial milling and it'll save you a lot on tooling. Uh, for more information, visit our website, toolinginventory.com. Thank you.